gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, downtown Nashville, home of the Batman building. And I'm not the only one who calls it that. Andrew Peterson calls it that too. I was so happy the first time he said that. I was like, oh, you agree it's the Batman building? Although others do call it. Well, yeah, we did call it the Ice Tower on one night when we were staying, you know, in one of these hotels. And it was just like dense fog, rainy and tense. But the, the center part was it was all lit up and it did look like the IS Tower on that night. But for the most part, since like probably 96-ish, I don't remember when that trip was, but I have been calling it the IS or the, the Batman building. Before I even knew what the IS Tower on was, I have been calling it the Batman building. And I'm so glad to know that even writer, singer, you know, author and singer-songwriter. Andrew Peterson calls it the Batman building. There it is, kids. So we avoided this traffic on the way up, but we realized it was easier to go through the evil Nashville traffic than deal with the, 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 the horrible back roads. Cause <laughs> hills and dips and, and just and bad construction and needed. But yes, kids, here we are. Oh, there it is, guys, Nissan Stadium. Home of the Tennessee Titans. You know that crappy football team? <laughs> Do you remember them? Yeah, gotta remember those Titans. Cause, bless them. They're, they're, they're forgetful team. They forget how to play. <laughs> Kenny, I'm sure they're a great team, but I don't care. All right, if anyone looks up any reports of a fire uh, near Hillsboro, Tennessee, on what day is it? I don't even know. May 2nd, May 3rd? Wow, I really don't even know what's going on. Tell me. Um, yeah, have you guys see all that like smoke right over there? Tuesday. Third. Third. Yeah, I don't even know. One more. Yeah, she's third, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it looks like there's a fire over there. Oh, by the way, I've been having fun. Coloring. I'm doing a mixed tribute of the Boys of Blues clues for this one. I'll show you guys all the fi the the artwork I've done when we get back. But, um, yeah, there's a vehicle on fire over there. Is no traffic on this lane. Uh, yeah, cause they let no bite through, cause that thing could explode any second. like the semi is gone. I mean, I saw like wheels and stuff, but the cabin is gone. Oh, sorry guys. You're going to be there a while. You might want to learn how to, oh, a woman's walking her dog. <laughs> I'm thinking it's, it's been going on for quite a while. Oh, you poor, poor people. And there's, oh, just no one else walking their dog down here. I mean, yeah, there's this median is not it gives you an idea. car friendly. And everybody else is going. And then, yeah, yeah these are the people who try and get off this exit, but again, everyone's taking this exit. Oh, good. Okay, the cops yeah. did lock it off. They're converting everybody to the good. exit, which is not moving. No. Oh, you poor people. So, yeah. So, between Hillsboro and Pelham, Tennessee. Fire and traffic. Oh, goodness. Okay. Back to my coloring. I have a bit if we hit a local radio station. Oh. we going in and out. Yes, we're at the part where we're going to be in and out of Georgia and Tennessee because Chattanooga. And we did just cross the eastern time zone line. Let's see when it decides to actually switch to Joburn. Clock hasn't. 
Like we found what's the switch they were at the minute. Goes from six to seven. <laughs> seven to six. Six fifty nine eight. <laughs> yeah. Just skip that whole seventh hour. Yep, there it goes. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, it would have been cooler if it had waited another few seconds. Yeah, it would have been. Guys, look, my kitty's still here. And it's still being a little psycho pants. Oh, are you just gonna see? This is what happened last time. Well, I'll tell you guys, room number two at the Travel Lodge, definitely a lot better than room number one. So just for starters, let's look at the view. Oh goodness. Yeah, not trash. In fact, I appreciate sure the room we were at, right over there in that corner. But uh, not, not bad, not, not a bad view at all. Uh, definitely a lot bigger room too. Like there's so much space here. Um, yeah, yeah, watching CIS, as always. Uh, still has an older phone, but hey, what hotel doesn't have those phones? But yeah, I mean, the fact that there's just this much space. But yeah, the nice hardwood floor. I don't remember if the other one had hardwood or carpet, but yeah. One of the things that's majorly different, this room the most, is that the sink is inside the bathroom. Ah, oh, someone took a shower, so the thing's foggy. Um... But yeah, so the bathroom, y'all, it has a slot for blades. Who even has removable blades in, you know, in the, the razors nowadays? But y'all, so it's got, you know, sink. There's nothing underneath. I, I, I checked already. But y'all, look at this drawer. I mean, there's nothing in there either, but who knows yet? It's got this part to get in with that part. That is so cool. And now at least we know that one sink and or the, the one shower head, the other one. Yeah, this is what it's supposed to look like. Actually has a shower head and definitely a lot better top one too. Not sure if the other one doesn't seem to have bottom carpet. Oh well. But yeah, I'd say definitely room number two, a lot better than room number one. As you guys have already seen, I've already been playing with the cat. But now I gotta figure out, hey, I'll talk to you in the mirror since I flipped the camera. Uh, for some reason, there was a glitch in my payment when I checked in. And now for some reason, there's $50 extra that I was charged. This is why kids, you check your payments, especially before you leave, you know, check your, your statements, your, your card statements, especially before you leave because that's sketchy that there was, he said it declined even though the first person, she didn't even need my card, it pulled it right out. He said there was a decline on it, which is weird. So I swept it again. I signed a paperwork that said the price that I was given originally, but now all of a sudden my card statement says $50 more than I paid, that, that the statement was supposed to be. So I gotta go over there and figure out what the heck. And now we head to Florida. I will let you guys know how the payment issue resolves. Okay, so guys, so there was a $50 uh, incidental, like, well, $50 deposit. But it's interesting how there wasn't a deposit the first day we were here, but there was a deposit this time. So I don't know if the girls just screwed up the first time or what, but uh, yeah, there was a deposit, but now there is, but so that got cleared up and now, Mama's over here playing with the cat. Did you show the chicken over there? Hi, baby. You're cute. Hi, honey. Yes. Did you get the tick off it? Give me. I took it the baby. You're the cutest kitty ever. Over here. Over here, baby. No, no, we wouldn't have a nail. Oh, no, you're a little bitch, we are. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, hell yeah. There's no love. This is kitty gets no love, no food. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh this is too much. Oh, oh my. And then I did, yes, yeah, so we did verify it is a little girl. When that's probably, I mean, really, I would say maybe one, two year old. She's, she's full grown, but she's still weedle. Well, yeah, <laughs> give her the last bit of some chicken from the cooler. 
She did a lovely little thing. But yeah, she definitely gets loved by oh some of the residents in this hotel. She's an and exclusive though. She prefers neck scratches yeah, over was. heads or belly rubs. Yeah, she doesn't like you under the chin. No, no. No, I noticed. That. She does not like that. She would not even allow that. No. But yes, yeah, so if you guys are over in the, at the Travel Lodge in Forsyth, one, be prepared for a $50 deposit. One night it didn't, one night it did. But come and see cute little girly girl here. They said there's an orange cat too that hangs out. I've yet to see the orange cat, but not that we've been here a lot, but yeah. only seen this one. This one has been coming inside. So I don't know where the orange one's hanging out, but this one's only been hanging out inside, getting all the lovings from us tourists. So definitely got to see the baby girl. Aw, someone's getting a new car from Carvana. Actually, one of the delivery, you know, vehicles. About to take somebody their new car. Oh, that's kind of cute. Yeah, I guess. All right, so we are headed back to the Bucky's that we went to on the way in. One, because I want one of those, uh, the, 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 the beaver, beaver tails. tails or what was it? I think I forget what they call it, but I don't care. That's what I'm calling it now. I'm pretty sure one location was calling it that because I think that's what Adam was saying. And then probably going to get lunch here just because, you know, might as well. I mean, we, we packed a few things, but I mean, Bucky's. It's got yummy, the, really, the sliced brisket, not the chopped brisket, the sliced brisket sandwich, y'all. That is the one to get. And then I need, I forgot to look because you, you guys know I've been collecting these lapel pins now. And I forgot to look and see Bucky's had them, so I have to go get that. All right, congratulations, who's getting every renegade? Yay! I really don't go towards the clothing and touristy section of the store, but maybe that's for any dude to find my pin. Yeah. Oh, or literally right here. Let's see. Oh, jeez. Or maybe it's not a spinner. Oh, uh, all right. It might have been one. Yeah. Oh, and then we got keychains and magnets. Keychains. We got Waze My Name on here. The names are weird. Nope, my name's never on this. It's funny when the, oh it is, got more magnets and stuff over there. Oh, whoops. Cause they got magnets, that they have. It's funny when the family fudge was here, the kids all got a blanket and like one other item. I think one of the girls got that blanket on there. That's awesome. You want a, a string doll? Uh, oh, look, there's more souvenir kind of things back there. Oh, there's a giant Grogu. Hi, Grogu. Oh, hi, Twin Pineapples. Oh, those are cool. Okay, so I ended up finding the, the, the ultimate touristy section. So there's like a whole bunch of stuff. And I was debating and she suggested maybe like get something like this, which is a magnet. We do have pinback stuff. And I came over here and found these buttons. They even got stickers, which is awesome. Patches, playing cards. Yeah, and $6. Whereas these three buttons and yeah, you can just pretty much just straighten out that. And this is only $2. We're gonna go with this. And we're gonna go get some food now. See which Vinny you like better. That was my ringtone. Um, so of course guys, I have to get a smash penny as our bright press penny. Uh, but I go this thing, lucky Bucky, I mean, come on, that's just hilarious. There it is. Let's go, little sham. That's why I want that one because it's got a little sham walk on it. 
Yeah, so cute. Yay.